Hi, and welcome to our next project, which is going to be a foil art or repose uh, marine scene. So the tools you're going to need today are going to be a piece of tracing paper, a stick with a pointed end or the end of a paintbrush, some foil, a surface that you can press against, and we're going to be using Sharpay uh, markers, but they have a special tip on the end, almost like a paintbrush. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your image. Now I've chosen this, which is a spotted triggerfish, and I'm gonna turn my paper around so it's the space I want, and I'm gonna measure it to see if my tracing paper goes over it, and it does, that's great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace with a pencil the outline of this particular fish, like so. Now with this fish in place, I'm going to get my squishy mat and I'm going to get my piece of foil. I'm gonna place my foil on top of my mat and I'm going to place my uh, paper, tissue paper or trace paper on top. And now, using the pointed end, I am going to retrace by digging hard onto the foil. And I can start wherever I want, and I'm just going to continue doing that until I have outlined that entire fish. And I'm gonna press hard. As you can see, it can come out. So here's one that I finished already. As you can see, it is uh, well dug in. And at this point now, I'm going to add any other decoration that I would like. For instance, seaweed or a rock. I will just draw that in. Whatever way I fancy. making sure that it is behind my fish. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. And then this is the most important part. When I go to color, I must flip over my work and then I can have an outline in order to be able to color. So I'm gonna start with one color and I'll start down here and I will outline with my marker and then I will color it in. I choose the color in another space, I can do the same thing. Have my marker, I'm gonna very gently outline first and then I get to color it in. Now, one thing I will tell you is, is it is a good idea to keep the brush strokes in the same direction. So if I am going to be coloring in this way, then I want to keep my brush strokes all in the same direction. Otherwise, it doesn't look great. And this is what it will look like when it is done and you are complete.